Aloha! Thank you all for being a part of this novel way of celebrating the good and faithful servant of God, June Marie Buckholtz. In this past year, you have had much to celebrate and much to grieve. It is my prayer that you are blessed by this celebration of music and song as we honor this beautiful child of God in this unique way. In the spirit of aloha, let us celebrate the gifts June gave each and every one of us and continue on through her spirit of love and ohana. I offer this musician's prayer in Miss June's honor. O oh Lord, please bless this music that it might glorify your name. May the talent that you have bestowed upon me to be only used to serve you. Let this music be a witness to your majesty and love and remind us that you are always watching and listening from your throne above. May your presence and beauty be found in every note and may the words that are sung reach the hearts of your people so they will draw closer to you. May your spirit guide us through every measure so that we might be the instruments of your peace and proclaim your glory with glad voices. Amen. A psalm is a poem, prayer, and sacred song or hymn. In our First Testament, or Hebrew Testament, the psalms are attributed to David, who wrote prolifically on many issues of faith, the hills and the valleys. It is perhaps no surprise that our church musician, June, chose two Psalms of David that speak of her faith in God, our Creator and Redeemer. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he restores my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 100 Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations.
Will you bow your head with me as I say the nurse's prayer? Because the day that stretches out for me is full of busy hours, I come to thee to ask thee, Lord, that thou wilt see me through the many things that I may have to do. Help me to make more tempting every tray. Help me to sense when pain must have some relief. Help me to deal with those borne down by grief. Help me to take to every patient's room the light of life to brighten up the gloom. Help me to bring to every soul in fear that sure and steadfast thought that thou art near. And if today or if tonight maybe some patients in my care set out to see to face that great adventure we call death, sustain them, Father, in their parting breath. Help me to live throughout this live long day as one who loves thee well, dear Lord, I pray. And when the task is done and evening stars shine through the dark above the sunset bars, when wearily quit, I turn to seek my rest. Lord, may I truly know I've done my best. Amen. And now a reading from 1 Corinthians 13. The Way of Love. I'll be reading from the translation, Eugene Peterson's The Message. If I speak with human eloquence and angelic ecstasy but don't love, I'm nothing but the creaking of a rusty gate. If I speak God's word with power, revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day, and if I have faith that says to a mountain, jump, and it jumps, but I don't love, I'm nothing. 
If I give everything I own to the poor, and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've got nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. Inspired speech will be over some day. Praying in tongues will end. Understanding will reach its limit. We only know a portion of the truth, and what we say about God is always incomplete. But when the complete arrives, our incompletes will be canceled. When I was an infant at my mother's breast, I gurgled and cooed like any infant. When I grew up, I left those infant ways for good. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist. But it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. We'll see it all then. See it all as clearly as God sees us, knowing him directly, just as he knows us. But for right now, until the completeness, we have three things to do to lead us toward that consummation. Trust steadily in God. Hope unswervingly. Love extravagantly. And the best of the three is love. Friends, with each passing day, you have had time to reimagine life with June in this new way. It is not an easy journey to consider life with your mother and grandmother, your friend, in this radically expansive way, this way of eternal life and eternal fellowship. June had planned much of what she wanted for her celebration of life prior to her passing. This Love passage was among them, and I find it a perfect representation of how she lived her earthly life and how she crossed the threshold from this life into her new eternal one and how she continues to love you infinitely beyond time and space. Verse 8 reads, Love never dies, period. It doesn't say, love never dies until your earthly life is over. It doesn't say, love never dies until you change your mind. It just says, love never dies. June fell in love with you the first time she laid her very eyes upon you. And that love lives on. Her light will shine forever to strengthen you in her never-ceasing love for you. Her love for you has made her whole and will guide you toward that eternal blessing too. And notice that I said her love for you has made her whole. That is the abundant blessing of this blessed gift. The more deeply you fall into it, the more whole you become. Now that she is no longer squinting in that fog of this life, she loves in perfection and wholeness and joy. And can you imagine her reunion with Hank? Can you imagine the fullness and completeness of their aloha, their hello, their love? I can only imagine the music that they're making now. I can only imagine that first sweet, 
tender embrace. And yet, just as they are together in this perfect way now, they both can and do shine their faces to you still. This is the power of God's love for us and through us. Love lives on. And you will still find it surrounding you just in new and maybe even more profound ways now. When you see a cardinal fly across your path, you know both of them are there among you. When a butterfly stretches its wings to the warmth of the sun, you know their perfect transformation is complete. When a song that stirs your soul's soul plays, stop and be still in the fullness of that love that is waiting for you to receive it. Love never dies. Be assured of June's love for you, for it is everlasting. I give thanks for this promise that God in Christ Jesus grants to each of us, this fullness and this wholeness of life. June lived her faith in this promise, and it has been realized for her. Jesus Christ assures us that death is defeated and that love lives on forever. And I give thanks for June and for all the ways she showed us glimpses of God through her life of melody, service, and love. I give thanks that those are gifts that are never ending. Hold on to the gifts that she brought you in this earthly life. And be assured of the gifts that she will continue to bring you. Hold on to God's ending love for each and every one of you. Her light will always be a guide for this gift and so much more. How can we do anything but praise and love and live? As June is singing a new song now, make music in your own unique and beautiful ways. Aloha. Amen. When peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll Whatever my lot You have taught me to say It is well, it is well with my soul It is well With my soul It is well, it is well With my soul Though Satan should buffet Though trials should come Let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate And has shed His own blood for my soul It is well with my soul It is well My sin, all oh, the bliss of this glorious thought 
My sin not in part but the whole Is nailed to the cross And I bear it no more Praise the Lord, praise the Lord O oh my soul It is well With my my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, and Lord, haste the day. When my faith shall be sight, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll, the trump shall resound, and the Lord shall descend, even so it is well with my soul. With my soul
when troubles come and my heart burdened be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. I do hope that this musical tribute to June Buckholtz has been a blessing for you and has celebrated her life in so many varied ways that she has touched ours with love and joy. And so in closing now, I would like to lift up that old benediction hymn, God be with you till we meet again. By his counsel's guide uphold you with his sheep securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. Amen. Okay, this one's for Gabby.
dreams that you dream of, dreams really do come true. Ooh, 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 ooh. Someday you wish upon a star, wake up where the clouds are far behind. Be where trouble melts like lemon drops, high above the chimney top. That's where. Yeah. 